Even though it's March 8th, I'm still in danger of losing colonies. Yesterday I checked this colony. They still had a queen, but there was less than 50 workers with that queen, so there was not enough for her to lay. So what I did was yesterday evening, as the bees are all going in for the night, I went out with this container here out to my larger colonies and underneath the lid, the outer cover, I scooped up five different colonies, a handful of bees out of each. And then I yeah, quickly put this on there, this lid. And then I got them into this jar here and I put this jar over, so this had this on here, just the same, and I put that jar there, and I've covered it with a dark rag. And this was like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere on that evening. The bees didn't rush in right away. They stayed They stayed in that jar for before it got dark, so they didn't rush right in. Because they came from five different colonies, I don't think they would kill the queen in here. I wouldn't grab bees from one colony and stick in there. But if you do it from several different colonies, more than likely they're not going to kill that queen because they all come from different colonies. Now I'll probably do this again tonight. Because that formic pro formic acid failed to kill the varroa mites last fall, my colonies, my queens in those colonies were laying the winter bees, but a lot of the bees died because of virosis that the, that the mites gave her. There she is. See, they haven't killed her. This is how you save colonies. And I just want to make sure I don't kill her when I put her back in. I don't want to get them all stressed out because they're just, they're just now getting used to this queen. And you see how they're not all flying out going to the previous colony they went to? You know, I could have taken this queen, I could have put her in a cage, and I could have split some of my larger colonies, but at this time of year right now, I've got them so tight together underneath this roof. The reason I have them underneath the roof, because if it rains in this time of year when it's so cold, I don't want them getting damp. So I don't really have the room to slide any hives around. I didn't really want to set them out anywhere else. Maybe when it warms up later in April and May, I could do that. But right now, my goal is to... Uh, Keep each queen with enough bees that she can actually lay and get them to grow until I can do a better job managing them outside when it's, where it's warm. Okay, thank you.